Okay, I'll just do it because this is real. I know I'm being like pathetic. Okay. Good morning, folks. Check this out. Lots of boxes. You want to open them up with me? We are going to open those boxes, but first things first, got to take care of the snakies. Oh, yeah. I love that you're laying like that. Probably having a pre-lay shed pretty soon. How you doing in there? You hiding any urates under that towel? No, you're good. The queen, the queen, the queen. I gotta, I gotta tell you guys how much willpower it takes for me not to go and straighten out all those paper towels. But I know if I do, they're just gonna wreck them up again and just, it's gonna be a complete waste of time. <laughs> so, if they're not dirty, they're good. Uh, poop stain. She's in shed. And she does a really good job of not messing up her paper towels, man. Had a little small for you today? Because you finally ate some food? Getting deep in shed. She really likes to dig around in her substrate and almost always ends up getting some of this stuff in her water almost every day. There you go, Missy. Ah, indeed. Tends to not use her little perch here in the morning, but in the evening I come in and she's usually on it. This dude's in shed. In his corner. Really wants to come out and say hello today. I'm sure Ryan will be happy to see that. Yeah, I think it's about time to list this boy up. He's had a lot of good meals. I think it's about that time. Hi there. Good morning. Hello there. Without warning. Mr. Pink. Corn snake. Corn snake again. You know, I've completely still spaced on having Noah pick out the names that you guys threw out there. Ah. I'm gonna do it soon. You guys gotta keep on me, man. I'm gonna, I just keep forgetting about it. Ooh, sorry. Nice proud daddy. The king. This is, this is Daisy. <laughs> Known as Oopsie Daisy. And her saga continues. Or should I say, his saga. <laughs> so he shed out, he, he shed out the other day. And I was cleaning out the uh, shed and I, I saw what I could only identify as a hemipenal casting. Sure enough, he's a boy. This is the snake that came in that I thought was gonna be a reticulated python. And I was like, oh, it's not. I mean, that's a long story, but you can, you can see the video. And now, 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 not even a female. It's a boy. Only three dirty snakes this morning. Not too shabby. Let's see if Noah wants to help us open up those boxes. Hey, Noah Sage, you wanna help me open up these boxes? Like Christmas? Yeah. I, for some reason I really love opening up boxes and I think it's something to do with Christmas because Christmas time every year I'm always around a ton of family like all the families together and I think somehow that subconscious thing of opening a box and getting something makes me feel like I'm with my family I don't know it, it's I think that's I think that's part of it obviously getting stuff is fun but I think that's the big tie-in to what I to where I feel, actually want to share it with you guys is that it puts me in that space where it's like Christmas time, you know? And all the family's together and everybody's having fun and at least that's my association with Christmas. Of course, material things, we, know, we all know that material things don't really matter all that much. In fact, some of my happiest moments are just sitting with Noah Sage up in the forest, up in the trees with nothing else around, no buildings, no nothing. Just nature, boys, yeah. Huh. <laughs> that being said, let's get these things open. We can hammer. Oh. Poppers! <laughs> so Noah's happy about the poppers. I'm happy about having a bunch of new paper towels. So I got a paper towel subscription. And <laughs> paper towels! Little little deli cups for the, the little baby snake rack. Oh, this is a memory card reader with a USB-C so that when I'm in Indo, I can download all the footage off my compact flash cards onto my laptop while we're traveling. Grass-fed beef liver? That's not me. I could probably use this thing around. Look at this shirt. This shirt's done. I've, I'm in dire need of some new work shirts. Let's get this out of here. That's here. It's all bright and yellow and shiny. Look, mommy's gonna love this thing. Oh, oh, it's yellow. <laughs> How do you guys think? Is yellow working for me? It's comfy. Let me get you a chair, Noah. Come on. 
Yeah. Lots more work shirts. Good job. I did it. Okay. Now when I'm a big guy, a guy like you, then I can do snakes. Yeah. Me and Grandpa is still to pick out which knife I want to use at the miners' hardware store for when I get bigger. Okay. Well, you can show me which knife that is then. It's an audio interface for the laptop so that I can get good audio so I can plug in my lav mics when we're doing those live streams, the high quality live streams that are going to be coming up. Ooh. <laughs> got a lot of stuff here and I'm going to have to clean it up and I got to get my butt to work. But first I got to get my butt to UPS to drop off that remote. And then I'm going to call DJI customer service as soon as they open and just make sure, see if they can just send me a new one while that other one is getting repaired. I was planning to go to band practice this evening, but my wife reminded me we we're having a big family get together. So I think I'm going to bring you guys along for the get together. You can meet some of the family. All right, cool. I'll see you guys after work. Hey guys, done with work for the day, just got home. How do you guys feel about picking up hitchhikers? Because I just I just did. I picked up a number of hitchhikers over the years. I've been a hitchhiker myself over the years, which is why I pick people up. Because I know what it's like to be on the side of the road in need of a ride. And I usually have pretty good conversations. I'm kind of bummed I didn't film it because me and Mr. Leonard, as his name was, actually had some pretty interesting conversations. Do you guys pick up hitchhikers on the side of the road? Or do you just drive on by? Because I, I drove by at first, I saw him stand there, I, I went by and went up to the next the next light on the highway. He was standing on the one south, and I need to jump off a couple of lights down on the 46 and head east. And I was thinking, ah, he's probably trying to get down to Morro Bay or somewhere further south, and I'm not even going to help him out. And I was like, eh, I don't know. So I went went up, turned around, went back, checked him out. He's like, I was like, hey man, what, what are you trying to get to? And he's like, the Tascadero. I was like, <laughs> I was like yeah, that's where I'm going. So he jumped in, dropped him off down there by the Home Depot and had a great conversation. I could have driven home by myself and had a, had a great conversation. I'm sure some people will say that it's dangerous. And sure, anything's da anything like that can be dangerous. You're picking up somebody you don't know. But broad daylight, and I'm not exactly an easy victim or a target, and I can usually read people pretty well. And most people looking for a ride are just looking for a ride. They're not they're not trying to get anybody. So that's that's where I'm at on it. If I see somebody, you know, if somebody looks really, really questionable, and I hate to put, you know, judgment upon appearance, because just because just by looking at somebody, you can't always tell what somebody's like by looking at them. But I just feel it out. You know, if, if I'm feeling the vibe, then then I do. You know, help somebody out if I can. If I'm feeling that vibe, you know, if, it's, if I'm feeling it, I will do it. Apparently, I was feeling it. <laughs> and I wish I had caught it on film because we had some awesome conversations about the universe and Mayan calendars and all that kind of crazy stuff. But it was fun. Either way, I'm home. I'm gonna go see the boys and mommy too. Daddy home. Daddy home. Who's that little dude? Who's that little guy? What? What the heck? What kind of poop is that? <laughs> what kind of poop is that, my scream? Did you just wake up? Oh, you like my new shirt? It's so bright. Can my new shirt have a hug? Hmm. You can give him a hug. Okay. Noah, can I have a hug? All right. It's your bright shirt. All right. <laughs> Apparently, this colored shirt deters children. Not you. Right. I can do it. I'm just gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna go play with my toys then. Oh yeah, mommy's sorry. Yeah. And we had a lot to talk about with the universe and the mind calendar. Oh. And other other stuff. Not just that. Was he homeless or? Uh no, I don't think so. He just didn't have a car. Oh, okay. Where was he headed to? Box! Oh. What? It's just uh more humidifier filters. I ordered another drone. Yeah. A whole nother, um, just an, another one. Completely different one? Just a, no, there's no, same drone, uh -oh. just another one. I ordered a new one because they said that that remote that I sent was gonna take three, it, that it might be five days before I even get another remote back. And even then, might not be able to figure out, you know, what if I get it back and then that one doesn't even work. I've got, what, a few days to try and figure it out before leaving for Indo? They have a good return policy as long as the item is still in good condition and, you know, they can resell it. When you buy a new one, they send it out the next day. So I should have this thing, like, tomorrow. Then I can 
work that one and then when I get that remote back I can just put that stuff back in the box and send it back instead of having to wait five days to figure out if it's not if five days could go by I get it back and it still doesn't work I'd be screwed right you know what I'm gonna do right now actually I'm going to see if I can fly the drone with my phone I saw a YouTube video of somebody flying their drone with their phone Let's just give it a try that's not how I want to operate I, I want that remote but I figured just to at least test it out. I'd like to get some footage from it since it's here. Okay, let's give it a try. Dink. Ah, jeez, let's just restart the whole thing. It's proving to be a real pain in the ass. Service like talking to a brick wall. Yeah. I can't miss you. Hey. Oh, So this is actually take two because I apparently didn't hit the record button, but we're sitting here <laughs> with my cousin's girlfriend, Juliana. And you guys remember Mikey, herping with Brian Gundy. Hey Mi guys. Mikey, Mike's actually in every every single episode in spirit. She expressed that she had a pretty good fear of snakes, so I convinced her that we should probably come upstairs and see if we can't help alleviate some of that fear. And that's what we're going to do, hopefully. The tongue flicking is just her checking out her surroundings and smelling everything. And you see how, yeah, she, she, she like backed up. <gasps> Did she just bite you? No. Are you sure? I... I would I would be willing to place virtually any amount of money that the snake would never bite me. Okay. Because she doesn't have teeth? No she, she, like she, tried. she has teeth. No, okay. she didn't try. I bumped, I was moving my hand a little weird and I, I bumped her head. Okay. And so she backed up because she was scared. Yeah, okay. So she just doesn't like that. Our donkeys don't like it when you touch their faces you, you either. Don't like yeah. Bump yeah, no. Not a, not a fan. Also, yes, yeah, so one of the reasons, one of the other reasons I really wanted to get her up here because she has, she has a lot of animals. Not like she's afraid of animals. Mm -hmm. Just a particular fear of, of snakes. And they like hide and that, I think that's, I just don't like that they hide. The fact that like they're grass. so secretive. Yeah, like they're very... Mysterious. Like you couldn't, I don't, see, because do you know what they're thinking and like feeling? Well, you don't really know that with many animals. So I know you have the fear because of the secretiveness of their nature and whatnot, but I mean, do you have any fear of any harm coming to you? Um, I, yeah, just, I don't know. They're just, it's something that's, I like puppies. Okay, that's a perfect example, because yeah. a puppy uh -huh. would do exponentially more damage to right. you than this snake yeah. ever could. No, I mean, totally, because they're just super, I guess that's the thing, is they're so, like, quiet and just there. Yeah, I think I'm, can I do it simultaneously yeah. while you're doing yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Or is she going to feel it in two different spots? No, that's, that's perfect, that's, that's perfect. I'm actually because... not sure about her tail right now. Okay, I'll just do it because this is real. I know I'm being like pathetic. Okay. Oh, she's very soft. Okay. Very soft. Very right? soft. Very soft little girl. That's so that's the first time you touched a snake? Um, no, I had one of the big ones on my neck, but I was wasted at in Vegas. So <laughs> oh. it doesn't count. Like the ones they put on. <laughs> right, I mean, right. Poor thing. And I'm sure it was like amputated or like what it tranquilized or something. Still just not like an approachable animal that like I would want as a pet. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah. you, that's... Like, I think there's, like, you know, like, there's cat people and dog people. Um, yeah. Ha having, I don't like cats. Going from being afraid of snake to having one of a pet, that's a little bit of a jump. Yeah. Although, sometimes I find that some of the people that started out being afraid of them, uh -huh. once they get okay with them, they kind of... They like them. Yeah. And they go, and they go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they have, like, 20 snakes. Well, hey. Good job. <laughs> I'd call it a success. Oh, my She God. touched it. So I'd say she did a pretty good job. Just the fact she was willing to come upstairs. Awesome. And I'm gonna spend the rest of the time here hanging out with these folks. 
And you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee!